you're watching another Marvel Legends toy review, uh, we're continuing on with our look at the Watcher Builder Figure Wave based on the Disney Plus shows Loki and What If. I'm Chris, and today we are taking a look at a character who, during the course of their episode, kicked a Hydra soldier into a wall so hard it made me pregnant. Captain Carter from What If Peggy Carter became Captain Carter. Or what if Captain Carter took the Super Soldier Serum? I'll, I'll clarify the episode's name before we film the main review, because I've actually forgotten. It's the first episode of What If. Spoilers ahead for the episode, of course. At Marvel's Captain Carter. She comes with two parts of the Watcher, it seems. A distinct Captain America, Captain Britain hybrid uniform. Likeness of actress Hayley Atwell in cartoon form. On the spine, we've got a nice stern picture of Captain Carter. Looking like she's about to kick ass and take some names. Clearly in Berlin, based on the picture behind her. Which is bigger on the back. There it is. Look at her. Hench as heck. Let's see what the bio reads. Marvel's Captain Carter. With the super soldier program in peril, Peggy Carter bravely participates by becoming Captain Carter. If we drop down to the Watcher Builder figure, it looks like Captain Carter comes with both arms of Uatu. Now she is in her CGI pre-rendered, uh, pre-figure pre modelled CGI rendered glory, which still weirds me out that they're doing this now. It's commonplace, but whatever, Trevor. Doesn't weird me out as much as it weirds me out that they've dropped the easier to recycle separate trays, but whatever. This figure looks great, and I'll, I'll be honest, this was the figure that made me go, do you know what? I want this wave. When, when they release these figures, when they release what if figures, I want a Captain Carter. And then they revealed the wave, and I went, well, I'm going to have to get the whole wave, because right? it's amazing. Uh, let's see if she lives up to the legend and get her up. Before we start, here is the Peggy Carter from the uh, first Avenger two-figure pack. If the camera will focus on her at all. There she is. Likeness of Hayley Atwell there. And as you can see from height, Captain Carter is not only a really good animated likeness for Hayley Atwell, but is also... <laughs> so much taller! Like it really emphasises how the Super Soldier Serum um, makes her big ting. She's 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 wearing boots. She's wearing slight heels in the original figure, but even so, like drop the heels and she's gonna drop by like a good sort of you know by by if if she were a person by an inch and a half. So. Yeah, that is, scale-wise, the Captain Carter figure is brilliant. Because it's like, yeah, this is her after the Super Soldier Serum. Off you pop, Peggy. So, let's take a look at Captain Carter. Articulation. She has a, a pivot on her feet. Uh, the boot shape sculpt from the actual lower leg kind of hampers it somewhat she can't bend them too far forward or too far back uh, and also you can turn them but it's really difficult because of the sculpt that's annoying no twist in the calves so those are the only way you can twist the feet but they're sort of interrupted as it were you know hang on, i'm just gonna double check you can't twist the calves i tried it before and but so look no you can't uh, you can see there from the double knee joint sculpt which is nicely done. Uh, the paint decal as we go up, it's sort of, you know, very sort of flatter cartoon shades. Oh, why is it really not? It's not like it, or is it? It's very strange. Double knee joint. What on earth? Come on, camera. What's going on? What's going on? Come on. Focus on Captain Carter. Let's see if I can... Right. No, focus on Captain Carter, you arsehole. Jesus Christ, sorry about this, this is mad. It's like it doesn't... The animated figures, it's really struggling to to focus on them when compared to, like, Sylvie, for example. Right, turn me out of focus off. So, yeah, double knee joint, joints of the thigh, up top as usual, crotch joint. There seems to be a slight shine on the paint on the very upper leg pieces that isn't on the rest of the leg, and it's sort of... It, under bright light makes it look like she's got shiny upper leg for some reason. Very strange. Uh, no articulation in the waist, but there is uh, a sculpted belt piece. It's definitely no articulation in the waist, is it? No. Um, 
Even though you could probably disguise one there, because the way she's built, she's a little more top-heavy, like her ribs and her upper arms are a little thicker than the waist. Um, that's one thing they seem to have... I don't know. Like, I'm not saying that you know, Captain Carter is, like, hourglass, but certainly she definitely has, in the show, wider hips. So I guess they're using the... the <laughs> for lack of a less crass way of putting it, the bottom and the colouring of the, the, the sort of descending lines there on the back with the red and white of the Union flag decal. They're sort of using that to try and pull off the, the more fe feminine figure. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, you could have, what I'm saying is you could have had the wider hips and a waist swivel just above the hips hidden by the belt. I'm just thinking about being out of display and her do cool stuff, to be honest. Um, this just sort of means she'd be very static, very front-facing in her poses. She has a rib crunch, um, and also on each arm, a little sculpted arm, but I'm sure you could remove it if you had the right tools, if you wanted to, for customising. A uh, little sleeve parts of the gloves there. The hands themselves are full-on Mickey-style gloves with the little three, three ridged uh, lines along them. Gosh, tough to stand up because of the ankle joints shame um double jointed elbows she's got double jointed elbows she's a female figure with double jointed elbows uh which can give her a decent amount of movement again like with t'challa from the side it looks weird from the front looks perfectly normal um her balance is really off because of these the articulation on the feet oh i'm gonna have to use a base for her um the paint is fantastic, especially with the reds and the white. There's not too much bleed. There's like a little bit of bleed, but it's not too drastic. It's not too distracting. Uh, you have the nice red overlap bit on the upper arm. Uh, there's a slight upper arm articulation. Shoulders are your usual shoulder joint. Uh, the I think the I think the winning factor for this for this figure out of the range so far, especially, is the sculpt. The likeness to Haley Atwell is so apparent that even if there hadn't been an animated series and you just made that figure, I'd be like, oh, that's Peggy Carter. But it, it is a fantastic likeness. It looks so good. Um, and and so far is, is my favourite uh, sculpt of the four figures we've looked at in terms of the, you know, capturing the character. Hair is brilliantly sculpted. Uh, with the parting at the top and it billowing out. You've got the very, of course, 1940s fashionable hairstyle. She looks great. Like, really, really good-looking figure. I just wish we could get a stand easier without having to use a stand. Uh, she comes with her shield. A vibranium shield, which is smaller than Steve's, or maybe they made it slightly smaller to emphasise her stature. Um, it's made of a slightly flimsier plastic, so do be careful. Don't put too much pressure on it. It's got the Union flag in the middle, spiralling outwards. She also comes with two parts of the Watcher. The right arm of the Watcher, which is robed and has one elbow joint. And the bare arm, the left arm of the Watcher, which is a lovely big old uh, kind of bracelet and is double jointed at the elbow. Let's see what she looks like in action, shall we? Captain Carter defending America whilst dressed as Great Britain. As much as I love the sculpt, posability wise, I'm going to have to have a play with this figure to see if I can get her to do anything much more dynamic because she's a little hampered. But we'll see how we go. She might have to be assisted by a stand or a figure stand. Uh, what do you think? Do you like the Captain Carter action figure? I recommend it if you want it for display, and I would absolutely love to get hold of the stealth version based on the final episode. Um, I, I There's two what-if figures that are available, or soon to be available, that I don't have and would love. And if you're up for buying them for me for reviews, I'd be ever so grateful. One is the stealth variant of Captain Carter, where she's got a, a slightly sterner face and the silver-blue costume, the silver-blue shield from the final episode of What If. The other one is the Hydra Stomper. The Hydra Stomper figure is a deluxe figure, not part of this wave, and I would absolutely love it, but I can't afford it right now. So if you want to help a brother out, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll add him to my Amazon wish list, or you can pick him up for me, and we'll sort out an address delivery at a future date. No obligation to do that, of course. You can always just support the channel and support me by liking these videos, subscribing, that sort of stuff, and I'll catch you soon for the Zombie Hunter Spidey review.